All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a Chicago Bulls video. They have improved to 5-1 on the season after a very, very impressive win at home last night against the, at the time, the only undefeated team left in the NBA. Well, the Bulls took care of them to put the Utah Jazz at 4-1, but nonetheless, this was a phenomenal win, guys. We all are aware of how intense this November schedule is going to be. That one-point loss at home against the New York Knicks, that one definitely stung just because they had that opportunity with less than five seconds to go down one point to win the game. Don't put up the best shot. Don't draw the best play up. They got their redemption tonight. They beat the Utah Jazz, a very, very talented team in the Western Conference. Now their next game is Monday at Boston. I got a preview video coming for you guys probably tomorrow, but welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. Last night was awesome, man, and it it's just great to see the Chicago Bulls like win basketball games. But here's the thing, and I've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks here, what's really important for the Bulls this season is to just win the games that they're supposed to win. That's exactly what they have been doing. What they also have been doing, remaining very competitive. In fact, usually leading games against competitive teams. So last year, what was the deal? Last year was kind of different because we didn't have these guys. So Five point losses, 10 point losses. But for the most part, last season, the Bulls were pretty competitive, but they would be down for like 10 points throughout the majority of the game. It would either be like down five, down 15. I feel like it would average out around that 10. And they would have a loss, but it would be at a quote unquote good loss because, hey, you know, they were competitive. They're not supposed to be winning quite yet. So it's a good loss. Well, I mean, a loss is a loss to me. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of good losses, but the difference this year is it's completely flipped. This year, the Bulls are winning those games. They're not the ones fighting to come back. They're the ones in control, dominating the pace of the game. And last night, defensively, what I saw from the Bulls, it was phenomenal. The Utah Jazz shot only 38% from the field. Now, granted, they they didn't have their best stuff any like to begin with, but the Chicago Bulls defense was was definitely playing into that a little bit. The Jazz only shot 29% from downtown. Now the Bulls, it wasn't the prettiest win. I'm not trying to say it was the prettiest win because you look at Utah, they're one of the most, I mean, they're a top five team in the NBA. I mean, you could argue top three team in the NBA. I, you could argue they're the best team in the NBA if you really wanted to. I, I wouldn't call that argument crazy one bit. You, you'd be... I mean, I don't know if outside of Utah fans, people are thinking that after this loss here, but a lot of people did view Utah as, I mean, they were undefeated, man. They're 4 0. They're the only undefeated team in the NBA. So obviously, you have people who were going to think they were the best team in the NBA. Chicago, like I said, it wasn't the prettiest win, but a win is a win. 82 game season. You're not looking back at game number six saying, Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm glad we beat Utah, but it was only by eight, and Utah did have a little fourth quarter run there. No, 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 no. Utah was also extremely sloppy. Great defense from the Bulls. They only had nine turnovers compared to the Utah Jazz's 20. This is the first game post Patrick Williams. Uh, I did see a rumor actually today that the Bulls could be interested in trading for Marvin Bagley, which I think would be awesome. I mean, I, you guys know him. If you've been watching my channel, you know I'm a big Duke guy. I love like any player who is from Duke, but I remember watching Marvin Bagley when I was high school, ball his ass off over in Duke. So I know the Bulls could use another big man, and hey, man, I would love a younger big man too. Maybe we can build around Marvin Bagley Jr., I mean, you just honestly, you never really know. What if he turns out to be a 20 and 10 guy, gets inserted into the starting line? Hey, you never know. But let's start with DeMar DeRozan because he was Mr. Reliable last night. I mean, DeMar is off to an incredible start to this season. He's averaging like 24 points per game. Last night, no different. 32 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 13 of 22 from the line. Was playing some solid defense. I mean, Vucevic, the the. Cubs, bro, just said the Cubs, and then I almost just said the Bears, 
The Bulls really, really needed DeMar DeRozan last night because Utah is a phenomenal defensive team, and Chicago was struggling to make a lot of their shots. DeMar DeRozan was the reason they won this basketball game, or he was the reason they he he was the reason the Bulls had the lead for a decent bit. They were competitive throughout the whole game. Like he kept them in it, and he kept them pushing. Um, it was a great game. I love DeMar DeRozan, man. I I know a lot of people think we overpaid for him, but if he's going to be contributing like he did last night, I mean, it was his first 30-point game for the Bulls, I have no complaints. Nikola Vucevic probably won the basketball game last night, 16 points, 12 rebounds. He's still going through this horrible, horrible, horrible shooting slump. I mean, it is not... The shooting slump is not good, but this is stuff you can easily... Maybe not easily necessarily, but these are stuff NBA players can you know easily fix. Especially a guy like Nikola Vucevic, who is 31 years old and has been in the league for over 10 years. But he had a huge three at the end of the game. He had a huge layup there at the end of the game. And without him, I mean Utah was going on a huge run to end that fourth quarter. They were making like anything they took. They were making any three they took. And Nikola Vucevic was like, yeah. So can I. You're not the only one who can shoot. Javante Green got his first start last night. Five points, two rebounds, two of two from the field, only 22 minutes with a minus five plus minus. I thought he did a fine job. It might take him a little bit longer to get his confidence in their meshing. But for the most part, I actually love Javante Green. And I like Javante in the starting lineup. Zach Levine, 26 points, five rebounds, five assists. Just like Nicola, I mean, he's not having the best start to the season as far as shooting the ball goes. But he's still making enough shots, and he's getting to the rim enough, and he's it's Zach Levine. So we're fine. Lonzo Ball, not his greatest night, but defensively he makes up for it, facilitating, playmaking. I mean, he can do it all. 11 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 4 of 11 from the field, and then he tacked in 4 steals. So defensively, you see it every single game. Off the bench, you did see Troy Brown Jr. and Derek Jones. Troy Brown only played 2 minutes. It was mainly... Desumu, Caruso, Bradley, and Derek Jones Jr. And I would say out of those four group, out of those four players, I mean, Caruso probably played the best. Uh, Desumu wasn't really shooting the ball too well. Tony Bradley, I thought, was actually making a great effort. He had a plus 19 in that category, and he was just defensively. I mean, he had two blocks. He's just really solid. But Derek Jones Jr., I think, is really going to be huge for this Bulls team. Step in. Like, they need him with Patrick Williams going down. Last night, he demonstrated his worth. I'm glad he finally got some run. Four points, three rebounds, two or three from the field. But most importantly, one steal and three blocks. It was just a very impressive performance from him. So hopefully we get to see more of him Monday against the Celtics. That's going to be it for today, guys. So if you enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I post Bulls content every single day. I know you guys would like it. So see you guys later.